How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Doing a what I'm liking and not so much. Haven't done one for a while, so I thought, yeah, it's about time. So if you guys would like to see what I'm liking and maybe what I'm not liking, keep on watching. So yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I, I have to tell you guys, I might have a lot of videos pre-recorded. I'm actually going to try and maybe take a little bit of a break from filming some videos, but I thought in these next few days, I'm going to try and film a couple videos all together and then that way I can take a break, but still I'll have videos uploaded and scheduled. This is my uh, what I'm liking and not so much. I actually do not have a not so much uh, item, which is always good, as I say. So let's get started into what I am liking. So hair care. I only have one hair product in here, and that is the Joyaco Color Therapy K Pack Restoring or no Restorative Styling Oil. This bugger here is like twenty some dollars. It is a really nice treatment for your hair. I love this stuff. It smells amazing on top of it all, but it has done a really good job on my hair as in helping with the frizz and conditioning it a little bit more. It does help protect your hair color. I have to get my hair colored here again soon again. I would highly recommend if you're looking to protect your hair and are looking for a hair oil. I know it's 20 some dollars, but it's so worth it. And I've had it for a while and I'm just now getting down a little bit there. But you only need a couple pumps. You don't want to add too much. Skincare. Do have quite a few skincare products here. I just purchased this not too long ago and it was on sale. They had the Derma E products on sale. And someone had shared this before and it's a cleanser. It's the anti-wrinkle cleanser, vitamin A and glycolic acid. And it, this is what the bottle looks like. It has a nice pump on it. And I really like it. I think it has papaya, if I'm not mistaken. Skin renewing vitamin A, exfoliating glycolic acid and papaya, deeply cleanse for a fresh, youthful you. Love this stuff. This is really a good cleanser. I would highly recommend trying it out. I've never tried Derma E. I do hear a lot of people talking about it. So I thought, you know, never can have enough cleansers for your face. You always need plenty of those. I like trying different ones out. The next new thing I purchased is from Skin Food, and it's the Pineapple Peeling Gel. And it is exactly like those um, gels that you put on your face, and it helps remove the dead skin and exfoliates. And it doesn't do it as extreme as the one from Body Shop. It doesn't do as extreme as that one, but it still does a really nice exfoliating, cleaning feeling. And it actually has, it's a pineapple peeling gel. And I'm going to check into more skin food products. I have seen a lot of people sharing them. It doesn't smell like pineapple. That's interesting, but I like it. I've been using it and trying it out. So yeah, I'm really liking that product. Next thing is one of my Freeman uh, clay masks. This one is the stress one. <laughs> you do look like a Smurf when you put it on. It's blue, but oh my goodness, it is so soothing. So relaxing. It's for any skin type. So oily, combination, dry, whatever. It is for anybody. And I really love these clay masks from Freeman. It says it instantly clears the pores, balances for a renewal skin. It's a 10 minute mask. I really like this. They always smell so good. Oh, I don't know what this one has. That fells, fells, fells but it smells very refreshing and spa-like. It smells really nice. So highly recommend checking out any of the Freeman uh, face masks. There's clay ones, there's gel ones, there's all kinds. I really like the Freeman. Very affordable company and I always have great experience with them. I don't see this on their site anymore, sadly, but I do see a difference and I am liking it. And it is from the um, Zo Skin Health from Zen Abaji. The Essential Lash Enhancing Serum. I don't even know if you'll see the wording on that too well, but it is one of those ones where you just twist this and click it up and a nice uh, serum comes out and you put it along on your uh, lash line at night. I do it, which that's when they recommend it. And I really notice a good conditioning to my lashes. 
Um, I do see they're, they're improving. There's like the length, the condition of them. They do seem more uh, stronger, and I do notice they seemed more thicker, or maybe they're just looking more healthy, put it that way. But I don't see this on their site anymore. So I'm not sure if they discontinued it. If they did, I'm going to have to find something different to use because I really like this. I, that's kind of sad. Every time I like something, they get rid of it. Brushes. I have a couple of makeup brushes here I've been really liking. One is my fan brush I got. This one is from, I believe it's Crown Royal. doesn't quite say on there, but I think it's from the Crown Royal, but it's the little kabuki brush here. It's a nice one of them nice thick ones. And I've really been liking it to put my highlighter on. Really liking it. I think I like this one a little bit better even than the smaller one. The other one is I'm liking Mally's. I don't know what she calls this one though. And I think she still has them on her site. But this is perfect for contouring or putting on your bronzer. But it's also perfect for your blush. Like putting it on your blush. I like it for both of them. So I'm not sure if this is like a powder brush, blush brush or what. But uh, yeah. It's one of the brushes I got in a kit of hers, and it's so nice because it's like pinched almost, like a little bit of pinch there. So that's what makes it good for the contouring or, you know, working in your bronzer or anything like that. So really like this brush. Speaking of Mally, we're going to go into makeup, and I've been using her Shadow Sticks. These are the Shadow Sticks Extra. She has her original, and now she has Extra. Now I'm going to be honest. And I hate saying this, I kind of liked her original better because I feel like the staying power was so much more better. There is a difference. You can tell like the formula is different. These are still pretty good. I still really like them, but I just think the formula of the older version was much better. You know, I kind of hate saying that because I love my Mally stuff. I've been using this a lot. Um, sometimes I will put it on my eyelids, but I've been mostly using it a lot to put down here on the lower lash line. So instead of just taking the eyeshadow palette that I used and, you know, depending on the color, obviously, the, and the look I'm doing, uh, I'll pick the right color of shadow. But yeah, I've been using a lot of them just lining down along here and it's really quick and simple. So I've really been loving these. I really, really want to get another one or a couple more. It's the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner. Mine's in Dolly Danger. And one side you have like this uh, brush. Uh, these are really big too. You can line your lips, you can color in your lips, you know, whichever way you want to do it. And if you line your lips, you could take this brush and just kind of work around on the, the lips a little bit more, maybe spread it out a little bit. I really, really, really like these. And I got Dolly Danger with, that's what it looks like. And just love it. So I'm definitely going to get more of these. For primer, I really like the Insta Flawless from Rimmel. This one I've seen, and it's in clear, I've seen Shades of Cassie share it, and she raved about it and talked about it. I really do like this one, this Insta Flawless. The Rimmel ones for their primers are really good. I have had great experience with the Rimmel primers. This one is Perfecting Radiance, so it gives you a little more radiance, and I do, I really like it. For my foundation, oh my goodness, I pulled this out and have been using it. It's my Pure uh, Hydro Fluid Foundation. I might not be able to see it like that. If you like a natural look, a dewy look, glowy look, some if you're like that, that's that's me. I, I like that look. I don't I'm not a person that likes too much of a matte finish. Go semi matte in foundation, but flat matte or matte, no. I don't really like it too much. I do like the glow, the youthful look, and I like the natural. And this is one of my favorites. I shared it in a top five uh, favorites of foundation. In a video, oh gosh, it's been a while ago now, I might have to update it, but the Hydro Fluid, I highly would recommend. If that's you, your combination of dry skin, dry skin, it gives, you can build it up. It gives a light to medium, I feel, but you can build it up and make it into a nice full coverage, but it just looks so natural. That is what I have on today, and I really like it. And in my video, I just shared not too long ago, my drugstore, uh, makeup tag. I love drugstore uh, makeup reboot. Uh, I'll put a link to that video down below. If you guys want to do it, I'd love to see everybody doing that video because uh, like I said, things have changed a lot in the drugstore. This is one of the items I uh, shared is the healthy mix. 
And this is the concealer from Bourjois. Oh, guys, this is such a great concealer. I haven't noticed it settling in my fine lines or anything like that. Um, obviously, when you're putting a concealer on under your eyes, you do want to make sure your eyes are pretty well hydrated. Then that way that helps a little bit more to uh, smooth it out and, you know, it won't settle in your fine lines. But really, really, really love this concealer. So I think I found my favorite eyeliner and I'm getting more colors probably within the next month from Maybelline. And these are the Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliners. If you can get your hands on any Maybelline Lasting Drama, you it is going to last. On the waterline, that's where I've been putting mine at. This one's the copper one. I haven't gotten any other colors yet. Striking copper, I think it says. Oh my God, they have so many colors. They have a blue, like a teal. The blue is like a cobalt, cobalt blue. They have white, they have nude, they have browns. Um, I know I, they just, they have a, a wide variety of different uh, eyeliners. And I'm telling you what, this is my favorite. I love it even better than Rimmel. I can only imagine the black one because they do have black. I'm going to get more colors. It lasts in your, if you're looking for a good eyeliner for in the waterline to stay and last. You want to try the Maybelline Lasting Drama. I'm telling you, I it, it it's as good as Mally's Everlasting, and you know how much I like those. It's the Everlasting one. Good, great, good, good, gritty. Okay, I have several palettes here to share. The City Mini Palette from Maybelline. This one here is in Rooftop Bronzes. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful palette. There is a lot of shimmer. This one does not have any matte, but you can, you know, like use some of your other mattes and work with it. But it is so pretty. And the pigmentation, oh my word, on these, I mean, like, I couldn't get over the pigmentation on these eyeshadows really good quality of these eyeshadows. I give those a try. They have a variety of colors. And the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia, which, oh my goodness, she's coming out with another palette. Did you guys see that? I forget the name of it, but did you see that? Oh, if you have not seen it, Trend Moods. Trend Moods gets me in trouble every time, I swear. But y'all seen the colors in this palette here. Oh my goodness, just gorgeous with the oranges and the cranberry colors, pink colors, just beautiful palette. So I've been really playing around with it. Okay, this palette I got from QVC and it's called the Billy X Galany. Is that how you say it? Billy X Galany. I got this off of QVC. Oh my goodness. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. These are all pretty much matte eyeshadows in this palette. They're all matte shadows. There's probably like one on the end here that has a little bit of a satin finish to it maybe, but pretty much they're all mattes, every single one of them. When you go down on the bottom here, these two eye products here are like a highlighter. You can use them on your eyelids, you can use them on your cheeks, whatever, uh, but these two are like a highlighter. And then these two are either, you can use them as a transition shade, use them as a bronzer, just ugh, the versatility in this thing. And I forget, was it like almost $50 or something? But again, it has these, these two on the end, like a pink and a uh, orange and some highlighting, whatever. I'm not gonna get into too much swatching. If this is a palette that you guys wanna see me do a look with and demonstrate it and like do some swatches, you can let me know. I'll be glad to do that because oh, this is such a beautiful palette. I think, I think, a, I think a lot of people, especially the mature community, are really going to love this palette because of the colors in it, and being they are more matte, but you do have them a couple shimmers that if you want to add something, you can put it on top, topper. It just yeah, let me know if you guys want to see me do something with this. Oh my goodness! Next palette is the Cargo. You have me at Aloha. I ended up with three of these. You'll see why, like one I sent to um, Mary Glitzy Fritzy, but I did purchase it and then just sent it to her. And then this one I purchased in Kohl's. 
I think hers I ordered on Kohl's and then had it sent to her. I think that's how I did it. And then I ended up with another one from a good friend of mine on here. Well, I mean, I guess technically I didn't end up with three of them because I gave the one to, I bought one for Mary and Glitzy Fritzy, so I guess I didn't actually end up with three of them. But it was just funny how that worked out. <laughs> I thought I should have waited and not bought mine. Sometimes it was like, you should just wait and see what happens. But I don't even think you can get this sadly anymore. But this is a gorgeous palette. Never played with cargo before. So I am kind of new to the cargo then with this. But boy, oh boy, these colors in here, the shades, the purples, the blue, the yellow, I mean, they are really, really nice. Uh, the yellow, the hibiscus, I sometimes have to work with a little bit. It's a little bit chalky from what I gathered from it. You do get a nice brush and eyeliner. That eyeliner is really good. Really nice, smooth, uh, creamy eyeliner. So, and lastly, this is an oldie, but a goodie for me in palettes. And it's actually from the company called Motives. But honestly, their eyeshadows are really great quality. I have a lipstick from them. This one's in the nude. I think you still can actually get this. And that's the name of the palette. The only thing I didn't like in the palette was the lip gloss, because look how messy that got. I don't know why companies put stuff like that, unless there was a cover. They should put a cover over it or some kind of casing like to cover it over. Otherwise, you, that's what you're going to get. So I really didn't care for that. But these colors in here, these eyeshadows here, and then this bronzer are so worth it. These are so gorgeous. And that is what I have on my eyes right now. So that's what's giving me, I, I just love it. It looks very, very nice. I like it a lot. But that is everything. That is what I'm liking pretty much. Like I said, there was no, not so much, which is a good thing. And yeah, let me know about that one palette, this one here, if you want me to do some looks with it and share about it a little bit more. All right, so if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Help me out so much, and I very much appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And please also make sure you hit the bell. The bell will notify you of letting you know when my videos are up and ready and running for you to watch. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.